Hey guys, welcome back, Orbomb here, bringing you a week four team builder, or team recap, I guess, I don't know, my team for week four of the CPL. I am your coach of the Houstonian Hoopas, and I am exhausted. Um, I actually streamed last night till about 1 a.m., and I just woke up, and I'm like, I gotta get this video done so I can battle uh, our opponent, Dave, Velo Knight, or Lux Rave or Velocity, or like the million names that he has. <laughs> I like Lux Rave. We decided to name him Lux Rave, so he's Lux Rave now. Uh, he's our he's the coach of the Kyoto Star Raptors, I believe. Let me double check the list right here. Yeah, he's he's a coach of the Kyoto Star Raptors, and I built a team. His team is threatening. I actually put his team here. Um, I have a couple tabs open. These are his 12 Pokemon. He's got he's got Ferrothorn, Politoed, Clefable, Mandibuzz, Inte and Star Raptor. Hello. <laughs> he also has Mega Steelix, Amoongus, Exploud, Meowstic, Kling Kling, and Regirock. This team is freaking a oh my god is it threatening. The fact that like I have absolutely nothing in my team that can eat choice banded hits from either of these Pokemon really well. Like no matter what, it always Oko's anything on my team. Like I actually if I have um maybe not <clears throat> I mean, whatever. Stone Edge, Stone Edge is a problem. Uh, Double Edge, Brave Bird, they're problems. <laughs> so um, he's got a really, really bulky team. Uh, bulky offense is what I'm looking at right now. So I decided to, you know, why not fight fire with fire? So today I built myself a somewhat bulky offense team. Uh, I mean, Zapdos isn't exactly bulky, but <clears throat> neither is Lucario. But you know, you guys get the idea. But I'm gonna go ahead and go over the spreads. Uh, I did it this way because uh, I like to look at the speed. Because I don't know speeds off the top of my head. I only know base speeds. Um, I'm not that. I'm not that kind of player who knows the exact numbers. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I'm sure I can learn if I actually cared enough. But um, as you can see, Polytoad's base 70. Uh, it hits this, and the biggest issues are the Entei's, which hit 328. But his fastest Pokemon on his team is actually Meowstic, which hits um, 337. <clears throat> so, based off of that, I'm starting this team with Scizor. Scizor is running Bullet Punch, Super Power, Roost, and uh, Swords Dance. Uh, max Attack, of course, Adamant with enough speed to actually outspeed... Um, what, what was that book when I outspeed? I think it was... Uh, yeah, Timid Regirock. The reason why is because um, he'll probably... I know, people like to run max speed. Um, rock Polish plus Weakness Policy. But I'm worried about the Fire Fang, <laughs> or Fire Punch, because I know Regirock can learn Fire Punch. Um, and I want to be able to kill it. I mean, I don't even think I need to run this much speed, to be honest. But, I mean, why not? I need to have... Uh, I almost... Maybe I should be running a little bit more HP. I really want to be bulkier. So maybe I will run a little bit more HP. Let's actually, let's actually change this. Um, I want to be able to destroy the... Let me see what happens if I just do Adamant and not Timid. Uh, he reaches 199. That's not too much of a difference, sadly. But I can do 200 speed at the very least. Um, 200 speed, and that would make that would make this. It's actually a pretty nice change. A lot more HP at the very least. Um, Bullet Punch and Super Power just takes care of his team. Uh, kills Ferrothorn. Polito's an issue, but Clefable is no longer an issue. Uh, I can hit Mandibuzz, uh, and I outspeed. Another thing is, I originally had it to where I outsped a non-speed invested Mandibuzz. So, <clears throat> there's that. Uh, Bullet Punch is just nice for Pokemon like Star Raptor. Uh, I can superpower the Mandibuzz, especially if it roost. And if it does run speed investment, that's great. That means it's less bulky. And if it were to roost in my face, I can just superpower it. Um, Steelix can be superpowered. X Bug can be superpowered to Bullet Punch, Kling Kling, and Regirock. And uh, as you can see, like I don't, need, I don't have any reason to run Bug Bite or Knock Off against this team. Like Knock Off is nice because I want to get rid of these guys' choice band. I know one of them is going to be choice banded if he brings one, and that's a threat and a half. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Um, Next is Gengar. Gengar is enough speed to outspeed uh, Meowstic by one point. I mean, there's no point in running any more speed than that. But even if he, if, if he brings a Scarfmon, I'm sure he's going to EV it to, to um, outspeed my Gengar at max speed. So it doesn't really matter. Substitute. <sighs> Excuse me, guys. Substitute because, um, I mean, Gengar likes to four switches. And then I can just hit a couple things with a couple Sludge Waves, Focus Blast. I wanted to run Life Orb, but 
like I'm already running Life Orb on Scizor and on Lucario. Um, spoiler, <laughs> I guess. And uh, Black Sludge is just there for you know recover some HP behind a sub. And I mean it's it's pretty nice if I'm like sweeping late game. And Shadow Ball, Focus Blast, and Sludge Wave does take care of his team. I believe to a Spadet. I don't think it does too much to a Spadet Politoed, but Focus Blast for this. Politoed's an issue. I don't know what to do with Politoed. I mean, I'm running Volt Switch on Zapdos. I mean, I just have to wear down Politoed because it doesn't get any like actual recovery. And uh, I can hit it really hard with Lucario after an SD. Um, Clefable gets taken care of with Sludge Wave. Man, the Buzz is just attack. Entei and Entei and Star Raptor. What's nice about these is that if he's locked into Double Edge, it's not an issue. I can switch in. Uh, extreme speed doesn't affect the Ghost type, obviously, and um, and that, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, I can hit them really hard with a Sludge Wave or a Shadow Ball. Usually Sludge Wave. I really have no reason to not go for Sludge Wave. If I can get rid of, I mean, he has three Steel types. I don't know what I'm talking about. But if I can get rid of um, Clean Clang, I mean, I have Focus Blast for these things. Sludge Wave, uh, Shadow Ball hits these guys. Sludge Wave hits this. Um, Scrappy Boom Burst is going to be an issue because I can't, it'll hit me behind a sub. I have to remember that. Uh, if I don't remember that, I'm actually going to like murder myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, it just hits everything really hard. Zapdos is here. Roost, Toxic. Toxic is going to be key this game because I feel like there's going to be a lot of stalling. I want to Toxic this Mandibuzz. I want to Toxic this Politoed. I want to Toxic this Intan Star Raptor so they get worn down. I want to Toxic his whole team. Too bad I can only Toxic like these three. But like, I, a lot of his attackers are just threatening as hell. Uh, another thing is I'm running Rocky Helmet with max defense. Reason being is that um, this thing pretty much wall Star Raptor, but uh, I had my computer, my computer was over here. Give me one second. Uh, I actually like wrote down notes on um, I have what I have to be careful about because there's a couple threat, there's a couple um, settings that I'm, I'm, a couple things I'm worried about. For instance, um, let me see if I can pull up this freaking thing. It's taking forever. Here we go. Zapdos, um, Zapdos, uh, Star Raptor, uh, Bandit Star Raptor's double edge will still two shot no matter what I do there. Um, Bandit Entei will also always two shot. Like Sacred Fire does 51 to 61 percent. Flavus does 62 to 78, and Edge does 69 to 82. Like I can't avoid the two shot, sadly. But max defense. At the very least, I can give them some recoil damage if he wants to go for Flare Blitz, if he wants to go for Double Edge, Brave Bird. Um, the recoil is really nice, and then I can just double out into whatever. Because they're most, if, if they're doing that much, I know for a fact that he's choiced. Because if he's Life Orb, he's doing less. And um, Life Orb is still an issue, but at least I can, I'm pretty sure I can Bruce stall the Life Orb. Um, he waved his hair for Verathorn, it's also there for his multiple Steel types, it's a Moongus, um, Clean Clang. Uh, he has a couple Pokemon. If he gets up the rain, it's going to be an issue. I don't think he's going to bring Politoed though, because I do have Zapdos. And the rain doesn't really do much for him this week, especially considering that I don't think I have any Fire-type Pokemon in my draft. Let's double check my draft. I'm pretty positive I don't. Yeah, I don't have any Fire-type Pokemon that could really, like, that could benefit him with the rain. So, there's that. Next, oop. Oh no, sorry. Togekiss, you know, standard Togekiss with Defog. I, I don't want rocks. I hate rocks. Rocks are the worst. Um, if he's gonna bring a rocks Pokemon, I have to I have to be careful and not set up my own rocks. As much as I would love to set up my own rocks, because he has so many Pokemon, specifically the two most threatening ones and Amanda Buzz, um, that don't like the rocks at all. If I'm just gonna defog them away later, I have to be a little bit more patient with my rock setting. Uh, Thunder Wave because Paralysis is just the winning it wins games. I would love to paralyze one of these two. Uh, Clefable, if it's Magic Guard, the best thing I can do is paralyze it. Uh, Mandibuzz, it's always nice to paralyze Mandibuzz. Politoed, I'm afraid of the Specs Toad. That's another thing I'm worried about. Xbot would be nice to paralyze. Uh, Xbot is another thing I have to be careful about. I believe Boom Burst does about 70%, even if I'm Max Badak, if he's a uh, modest Specs. Once again, I always calc for the worst case scenario. Um, that way, if, I, if he's doing less than that damage, I know that he's not that set. Air Slash, of course, because Air Slash is Air Slash, and Air Slash is good. Um, good against Amoongus. Amoongus is another issue, I'm, another thing I'm worried about. I kind of really want to run a, <laughs> like, because I'm not running Heal Bell. Maybe I could use, but, I mean, that doesn't make any sense, because you could just Sludge Bomb me. But I can eat up Sludge Bombs. Um, I don't know, maybe I should run Safety Goggles? If he brings the Spore Amoongus. I mean, he might. Amoongus does put in a little bit of work against my team. 
Because Amoongus can survive most hits. I think he's going to bring Amoongus. I'm actually going to switch this to Safety Goggles. Because um, I'm immune to the I'm immune to Spore that way. And I can Air Slash things. Uh, but Leftovers is way too nice against this team. Uh, decisions, decisions. I hate these League things, guys. <laughs> uh, building for League format is so difficult. Um, Landorus is standard Lando. Uh, no Stone Edge because there's no need. Knockoff is there. Uh, because I want to knock off my items, obviously. EQ does damage, uh, especially to all the steel types and rock types. U-turn is there for momentum because I want to build momentum. And then there's Lucario. Lucario pretty much 6-0s his team on his own. Um, SD, Iron Tail to hit his fairies, his uh, fairies. I mean, I am only there for Cl Clefable. Blah, blah, blah. I can't speak right now. It's there for Clefable. It's a little worrisome because it can miss, but it's the only attack that can actually Oko Clefable, even if it's max defense. And then close combat and extreme speed take literally takes care of the rest of his team. I would run max speed, but there really is no point because this, this, to put the two Pokemon that I'm worried about is um, are these two, which are base 100, so if they're timid, they'll outspeed me. Uh, plus, I'm going to be e-speeding them anyways, um, so it's whatever. Uh, I, I will always I I'll always be Clefable because nobody's ever running a max speed Clefable. But just in case, how fast is that? That's 240. Um... Yeah, I'm not hitting no 240. Actually, I am. Never mind. What did I hit 263 for? I know I hit it for something. Um, oh yeah, for Politoed because I wanted to make sure that I could get up the SD and uh, burn. Uh, I mean, close combat this thing to hell. I'm actually interested in uh, how much that will do. I'm gonna just do slash calc. Let's see what happens. If I get rid of the S, I believe I can get the updated version. Yeah, there we go. Um, let's do Lucario. Uh, oh, you life of attacker versus the Politoed. Oh, you support. Um, yeah, close combat without the plus two boost does that much. Let's just say um, worst case scenario, 252, bold. Um, close combat does that much at plus two. I believe it kills. Yeah, it always kills. Stream speed does holy shit. Yeah. So yeah. <clears throat> I can actually run a little bit less attack, but that's a dumb idea. So um, there's that. Uh, but if he's max ooh, I wonder what happens if he's max speed. I mean I mean there's no real point. Where did it, where did it go? Oh here it is. Um Let's just say that like he's max speed, max HP for whatever reason. Um uh, this comment does so much damage. <laughs> Anyways, enough of that. Um, but that's the team. It's it's going to be a pretty weird week because my draft, his draft is really sporadic, um, which I guess is similar to my draft. But like his draft, he could bring so many different things. There's so many things that he like. I don't know. I don't think he's gonna bring Ferrothorn because I have Lucario, because I have Scizor, Gengar, Landorus. Like those things all pretty much take care of Ferrothorn. But he still could very well bring Ferrothorn because it's a good because it's a good um, wall just in general. Uh, Politoed is here. Politoed doesn't do much against my team, but Rain plus I don't know Specs Hydro Pump that could do a shit ton of damage. Um, Clefable, I mean Clefable is just a great Pokemon, I'm always expecting that because Clefable is a little bitch, oh my god. Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz could be brought, um, <clears throat> hopefully he runs knockoff because if I could get rid of my life orb uh, for a knockoff justified boost, ooh, that'd be nice. But he might bring Mandibuzz, Mandibuzz could do a little bit of work against my team, um, just because I have a lot of things that don't like foul play or dark type moves, so I'm expecting the Mandibuzz. Um, Probably a nice defaulter. Entei and Star Raptor. He could bring neither. He could bring both. He's most likely going to bring one at the very least with Choice Man. Maybe the other one with a Choice Scarf. Um, I have all this priority though with Extreme Speed and Bullet Punch. Um, so I'm not expecting him to bring both. Why would he? I'm expecting him to bring Entei because Entei is actually a huge threat to my team. Um, uh, I'll get rid of this now. Um, Amoongus. I'm expecting him to bring Amoongus because Amoongus puts in work against my team. Sludge Bomb plus sleep powder or spore is an issue for me um uh steelix i'm not sure if he's gonna bring steelix once again i have a lot of attacks that can deal with steel types explode scarf or specs explode could be an issue miasic with thunder wave i believe he's gonna bring that i don't know about these two but that's the thing he has he has like probably four solid pokemon he's going to bring i think he's definitely gonna bring the mandibuzz uh one two 
let's just say five. All right, let's just say these four are definitely coming. Um, five. All right, six. But the problem is that like he could uh, he could honestly substitute any of those Pokemon for anything else. He might have to bring Regirock for this uh, or Steelix for this Stealth Rock. Um, because Stealth Rock does put work against my team and that kind of stuff, you know? So that's why this week is actually really worrisome for me. Um, hopefully I do well. I am, what, what am I right now? I'm, I lost two, I won one. So hopefully I can bring it back this week. And, uh, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you all so much for supporting. Let me know what you would have brought, because I'm actually interested in, um, what other people would do in, uh, my situations. Obviously this video is going out, this going up after we take, after we get the battle. So there's not going to be any changes done. I don't want him knowing what I brought and all. But tell me what you would bring that would be different. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to call that an episode, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm probably going to be streaming. I'm loving streaming lately, guys. I did it for the first time the other day. Uh, so um, if you see a stream video come out, just come join the stream. It's fun. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later.